my name is Luigi and today I want to show you guys how you can create custom thumbnails in Fortnite Creative just using the replay mode and Fortnite Creative without using anything like Photoshop, Blender, so everybody can make it really cool, really easy, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you need to create is some kind of thumbnail map for yourself and uh, the reason why you need to do that instead of using your actual map is that you probably have some devices in your map which could ruin the kind of experience that you have while making the screenshots because sometimes the replay mode bugs out even if you make sure that everything is turned off you sometimes have a device floating here or there or you just simply create something just for the thumbnails so I did here so obviously I don't have a map we just gonna make this for this video um, but let's just imagine we're gonna have a ninja map where you have to parkour out of the way and my subject is going to be a cool guy standing in the middle of this room here and having his sword out and looking all cool so I create this little mini map here, which uh, I'm going to do my thumbnail on. The most important part here is that we have three main things. The first one is a foreground, a background and a subject. The foreground in our case is going to be this little statue over here, which I'm going to show you guys in a second why we're having this right here. And the other one is the background, which is going to be this wall with the fish logo on it. The subject, as you guys have might have guessed, is myself. And I'm going to stand in the middle of the map and going to do an emote which um, I'm going to surely use this one right here because it looks cool, really cool. Hey. But you want to obviously create your own stuff, so make sure that you find something unique and custom that fits to your map and also uh, is fitting to your whole map. So I would not recommend using this kind of thumbnail for a map that is uh, like cars or something. So make sure that you have the right photos for the right thing. Um, I cannot tell you how to do that, that is something that you need to do by yourself. But I can show you how you can make it easier and look a lot cooler than uh, if you just would randomly make a photo or a screenshot of it and send it in as a thumbnail. Uh, so, okay, apparently I just got to level up, so thanks. So there's one last thing which is very important and it is that the subject needs to be well lit in your map. So make always sure that the, the sun is at the right point. Obviously you can use the sun as a kind of character giving uh, thing as well but make sure that the character which you're photographing or which is the main focus point of your thumbnail is well lit so it, it can show basically all the details of the character and make the character pop out as much as possible. It does not need to be a person but uh, you get the point. So the next thing we have to do is we go into the replay mode and here is where the magic is going to happen. We're going to create a full cool looking thumbnail with just using the replay mode. And the first thing is that we need to find the pose that we want our character to do. In that case, we obviously had the emote, so we're gonna go here and make sure that it's a little bit slower so we can actually catch the emote and look when the emote is going to start. So right here, so I think that is a cool pose as well, but we're not gonna use this one. Um, so let's fast forward a little bit. And, um, and right here is the pose that I wanted to use for my thumbnail. We now have to set up the pose, but you realize that we don't really have a foreground. We have the character. I mean, this pose looks really cool in itself, but it's not really giving any kind of feel of depth or anything that is looking like super cool. You can see that by just moving the camera just a little bit behind the foot of the uh, the foreground, it actually looks really cool. So now that we have set our camera in the right position, we need to make sure that it's actually zoomed all the way in. The reason for that is we're just photographing a single object. We're not going to photograph a stadium. So there's no reason for us to zoom out the camera all the way. Also, it gives us a lot of uh, options for the field of depth, which we're going to add blurry background and blurry foreground, which then in return makes the main subject pop out even more. So you can see here that we can zoom in all the way and it looks amazing. So we can zoom out, we can go a little bit back with the camera so you can actually see the foot and uh, maybe like this. And this looks like 10 times better already. We have a foreground, we have a background and we have the main subject. But now we want to have not the focus on the foot or the background. So we need to make them blurry. So to make that happen, we need to play around a little bit with the settings here. And um, usually turning on autofocus does a lot of the job, um, but you can see right here that it doesn't work. If it doesn't work immediately, you can play around with the aperture. So you can see here, we've, if you play around with the aperture a little bit, uh, that we get this nice effect that we want. You can also create this effect by just playing around with uh, the normal focus here. So you can see that you can create maybe just a foreground and focus or just a background and focus, stuff like that. Um, but obviously it is a lot easier to just turn on autofocus and then just play around with this one aperture setting and you most likely will get the job done with that. And now you can see this looks really cool and we get a main focus on the character and now all we have to do is create a screenshot and use that as a thumbnail. And that is all you have to do. Super simple 
And you can see how we just created something very cool looking without using any Blender software or any Photoshop. Just by using Fortnite Creative and a replay mode, you can create amazing looking thumbnails and have a lot of fun with them as well. And um, yeah, that is all you have to do. Super simple. Uh, everybody can do it. Uh, obviously, besides Switch users because they don't have replay modes. Um, but other than that, really cool and uh, definitely should give it a try to make your maps pop out that much more. So with that being said, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye.